Hi everyone, good morning. Patricio Chiwanano here again. Today's topic is business model canvas. So this is for entrepreneurship for language students. I'm going to explain what business model canvas is all about. Well, basically it's a tool to help you decide some key aspects, some key factors for your business. Now it ranges from uh, deciding your value, deciding how your customers will benefit from you uh, up until how you are going to uh, do the cost structure. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive into my PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, so this is a topic for today, business model canvas. I'm going to walk you through uh, each section and I'm going to explain from, from there uh, the key aspects that you have to take into consideration that you have to prepare for your business. So uh, business model canvas or PMC for short includes nine keys. Now what are those nine keys? First is value propositions and second is key activities. Third customer segments, channels, customer relationship, uh, key partners, key resources, revenue stream, and finally, cost structure. So there are nine elements that you need to uh, consider, that you need to prepare for your business. Now you probably ask, what is the use of this? Well, with PMC, you can prepare your business better. You can prepare uh, the important thing that you have to that has to be there for your business to run uh, to get up and running second if you want to apply for a loan if you want to seek for investors the pmc will enable you uh, to convince them to give you a loan to give you some money yeah, to lend you some money for your business to run so it's quite useful now let's uh, follow my explanation for the first one which is uh, this one yeah okay so the first one is a uh, value propositions this actually means uh, how do your customers benefit from your business see this is the first question that you have to uh, think how do your customers benefit from your business are they going to benefit uh, by attending to your lesson? Are they going to benefit from your products, from your goods? Are they going to benefit from your service? And second is, what is your core value? What is the most important principle that you uphold in your business? Is it health or good education or cleanliness? or friendliness, hospitality. Yeah, so that's your core value. So you need to start to you need to start thinking about your core value. Yeah. And um, the most important point is that what is unique or different than your competitors? What makes your business unique? What makes your business different from that of your competitors? Yeah, so these are all the value propositions. Yeah. Now the second one is what we have, what we call key activities. Now simply means what is your main activity in your business? Are you going to sell something? Are you going to provide a short course or what? Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is the, the key activities. The, main activity of your business okay and the next one is customer segments as you can probably guess from the name it's about your customers who are they who will buy or use your business are they school teachers or business people or rich women from big cities or people from rural areas, from remote areas, or uh, bike lovers, or what. Yeah, so you have to decide your customer segments. 
who will buy, who will use your service. And then um, of equal importance is what is their demographic, psychographic, and behavior. Demographic means their age, their social economic background, their education level, yeah, uh, where they live, yeah. And then psychographic means their lifestyle, the value that they have, the value that they they uphold, uh, um, maybe their psychological uh, setup, yeah, their psychological condition. Are they people who live comfortably in a good neighborhood, or are they people from a lower economic uh, status who still seek uh, some identity, who still want to be firm in their uh, personality? Yeah. Are they students um, trying to get some new skills, trying to learn some new skills besides the courses that they have been taking from their schools? Yeah. And also their behavior. Do they uh, look at one product and buy it immediately? Or do they just look uh, around and not buying anything until they get convinced by their friends? Yeah. So this is their behavior. So customer segments is actually about your customer who are going to buy from you, who are going to buy your product, who are going to buy their service and what are they like? What kind of people are they like? Yeah, so that's the customer segments. Um, the next one is what we have as what we call channels. Yeah, channels means how will you reach out and communicate with your customers. So if you have a product, how will you communicate this to the public? How will you communicate this to the world out there that you have a good product or that you have been preparing a good service? Are you going to do it online? Are you going to do it offline, face to face? Are you going to meet them personally and talk to them, persuading them to buy from you? Are you going to speak to a large group? So you come to a special gathering and then you promote your product, you introduce your product to them. So this is the channels. Yeah. Um, next one comes the customer relationship. How will you maintain relationship with your customers? So once you have customers, you have to maintain them. You have to keep communicating with them. You have to keep informing them of your business. You have to keep in touch with them. Yeah, you have to keep talking with them. Are you going to do it personally? Or are you going to do uh, a mass communication? Yeah, um, speaking or writing for a large group of people? Are you going to engage them in communities? So once you have several customers, you put them in an association or in a group which uh, your products scatter to. Yeah. So this is a customer relationship. Yeah. Um, let's get to the next one. Key partners. Now, in doing a business, you can, you can hardly do it alone. You need partners, you need people who you work with. Yeah, you need, uh, for example, if you are, if you have an um, English course, you will have teachers, right? So basically in this um, aspect, you ask what other people or what other institutions will you need for your business to operate? Are they suppliers? If you sell some um, for example, cookies, yeah. uh, you will need some people who supply you with the cookies and then you are going to sell them to your customers. So you need suppliers, you need suppliers of cookies of, or if you sell uh, materials for construction or building, then you also need suppliers. These are the people who supply your store with, uh, for example, um, nails, um, bolts, yeah, and all of those kinds of things that you need uh, for building, for building, for construct, for uh, construction. Yeah, um, are you going to have designers 
coming to your place and give you your uh, their designs if you are in a in an education business you will need some schools probably yeah so these are the key partners you decide the institution or the people that you have to work with in order for your business to operate yeah okay um the next one is the key resources now this this is actually about the what are the material financial physical and intellectual resources needed for your business if you run an english course or if you run a special course for example a makeup course yeah uh, you are going to need people who can do the good makeup yeah you are going to need some kind of advisors probably you are going to need a building that's a physical resources you are going to need some money right you are going to need some funding and that's the key resources yeah so these are the aspects that you will have to need in order for your business to run next comes the revenue stream yeah now the revenue stream is oh before this sorry probably i missed one yeah let me see oh yeah we have covered this okay sorry so now we can go on to this one the revenue stream is how you are going to get the money how you are going to get the profit how will your business generate money uh, are people going to come to you and pay and that's it that's that means a single payment or do they have to uh, pay your business uh, over a period of time so for example if you establish a business if you run a business and people subscribe to your business you will have to pay the subscription fee every month you know that's a recurring income recurring income so this month you'll get uh, this amount of money and then the next month you will also have you will also receive the same amount of money from your customers that's a recurring income yeah so decide how you are going to earn the profit how you are going to earn the money through your business yeah. okay um yeah next is last but not least you have to calculate your cost structure now cost structure is actually the cost that your business have to bear yeah that mean that can translate into uh, money for utilities for internet connection for electricity for uh, running water yeah and all of those kinds of things yeah you are also going to calculate the salary that you that you have to give to your staff to your workers you're going to um, you're going to pay for the overhead cost yeah uh, you know overhead cost is the, the cost that you have to bear in order for the operation of your business to to go on yeah things like uh, what i mentioned before uh, electricity water internet connection yeah maybe fee for the security officers in front of your shop for example yeah also rent if you rent a space um ruko for example or a small office you have to also put this in your cost structure okay so yeah i think that will be all so that's how the business model canvas works so you have to detail every aspect of the pmc and once you as once you have established this now you are ready to uh, offer your business or to present your business to a group of investors or maybe to a group of people who are interested in working with you yeah so there are some useful things that you can achieve by establishing a good business model canvas okay good luck and see you again in my next episode